So if you look at the future with this kind of technique, what can you, what can you use it for, for instance? Yeah, um, what will happen? For the cl clinical applications, so maybe uh, we can use the uh, cartridge type organs where uh, you can make the organs and you can insert it. And uh, if you don't like it, you can actually remove it and then replace another type of organs. And the, uh, I think the 3D tissue construction technology might be also useful for other type of the applications like uh, animal alternative testing or environmental monitoring by using the cell sensors and also the humanoid robots uh, composed of the uh, living cells or something like that. To build robots with, you, with yeah, living to, cells? Yeah, to build a robot just using the living cells. So it looks like an uh, actual humanoid. Basic idea comes, coming from the Lego, Lego blocks, so because my son likes a Lego block a lot. So they, they ask me uh, buying the Lego block every three months or something like that. And if you take a look at the Lego block and they break it into the pieces, so you can easily categorize the uh, building block into the three kind of building block, like a dot, line, and plate. And you can, you can build like a finger or a yeah. pancreas or? Yeah, it depends on the mold. So if you can make the mold, I mean the case looks like a finger and it puts our uh, building block inside and then culture it. And after that if you can pull up like a pudding so that you can make the, um, you can uh, easily make the uh, tissue structures. But, but then you cannot use it still, the finger. Right, so that's why our next goal is to um, put the function, biofunction into the, our tissues. And uh, for example, the blood vessels is very important to uh, keep um, culture in the cells inside. And also bone is uh, useful for maintaining the structures and the muscles is important to move it.